we are going to continue on talking about what tools are available to an author using the Markboard app. So let's go ahead and add another one. This time we're going to talk about authored marks. So I'm going to add the Markboard app, add another slide in. We'll keep it on the tape measure. And uh, these authored marks uh, allow an author <coughs> to leave marks on the board so that they can reference them and talk about them or, or use them as a... a, a um, some sort of like question or something. So for example, let's say, uh, um, let's say um, mm, we have marked a, uh, the, we have noticed that the half inch mark lines are the longest. So we're talking about how these uh, are the longest. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and I'm going to mark a couple of these. So there's one. Oh, that is not one. Okay, here's a good example of, uh, so I marked a one and a nine sixteenths. I can come over and I can hit delete. So I'm going to come back over here and add one there and uh, add one there. There we go. Uh, are the longest, let's just clear that a little bit. What I'm talking about how, uh, notice that the half inch mark lines are the longest are the long i'm just gonna leave it at that save that let's see what this looks like to the end user let's actually center that up a little bit so it looks a little better save that one more time go back to the activity and uh we're gonna call this um rename slide uh authored marks and i'm gonna submit that and let me show you what that looks like from the end user's point of view let's save it one more time we'll save the activity this time Come back here to consumption. So the previous slide, we were uh, we were doing the speed square, and again, you can click and add stuff on there. But when I come to this one, notice that those marks are persistent. And so, as an author, you can set these up and and use them and reference them over here. And uh, we'll probably use that in maybe multiple choice or some of the other challenges that we're going to get into next.